Hi everyone, welcome back to our scene. Uh, in this video, we are going to see how we can add a camber or how we can twist a road. Okay, so this is pretty simple. This is a very quick vi video. So you can go back into performance mode on the roadscape object and then you can select, for example, the parts you want to add a twist to it. So you will simply go into the roadscape object, you go into the data attribute, vertex groups, and you will see there is a twist a vertex group. So by default, the slider should be up to one. But uh, the thing to know is that in order to have a road that is flat, by default, you want to assign 0.5 of weight to uh, of the twist uh, vertex group to these edges. So by default, everything is set to 0.5, okay? But let's say we want to twist something. You simply go over or be, uh, below 0.5 in one direction or another, and then you will have some twist. If I go uh, closer to 0.5, the twist is lesser. If I go uh, further away from 0.5, the twist is more intense, okay? So let's do something uh, not too extreme and just keep it like this. Let's go out of performance mode and see how it looks. And so this is it, guys. This is how you can add twist or camber to a rod. So as you can see, this is pretty easy to do. Uh, maybe let's try to add some of it uh, on the other side in here. So not this way, but this way probably. Let's see how it looks. And so, as you can see, we now have a camber in this direction and in the other direction here. So this is how simple it is to create a, a twist on the road in Roadscape. And as you can see, nothing is clipping and uh, everything is set up correctly. The road sides are working correctly and everything is going well. So this is it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.